expect some new details in the case of a Georgia high school football coach accused of murdering his girlfriend in Prince George's County on Saturday. Carl Kearney Jr. is charged in the death of 38 year old Patri Patrina Best. She was a traveling nurse and this allegedly happened in the basement of her parents home in Akakeek. Scott Broom is live outside the Prince George's County Courthouse with the latest on this terrible case. All right, well, the judge just finished up with this uh, within the past hour and a half. The judge ruled to keep Carney Jr. locked up here in Prince George's County while this tragic case moves forwards in the court. A short time ago, state's attorney here in Prince George's, Aisha Brayboy, uh, offered some new details. She told us Carney and the victim, Petrina Best, had a long time on again, off again relationship that comports with what Best family told me last night. They said she'd been living in Georgia where Carney also lives and he was helping her move possessions back up here to her parents' home. You can see there in Akakeek where her parents live as she prepared for a new assignment somewhere in the U.S. as a traveling operating room nurse. Parents not home at the time of the attack. Uh, Carney admitted to police that he argued with Best and then strangled her and then according to his confession to Prince George's County complete uh, police. He claimed that he tried to slap her to bring her out of unconsciousness, but she was dead. Uh, Brave Boy uh, also just revealed this afternoon a new twist, and that is that Carney apparently fled to Virginia and contacted police there who told him he had to come back to Prince George's County and turn himself in, which he did Saturday morning. Brave Boy said this incident fits a familiar model of domestic violence, and it's a cautionary tale. This is a very sad case and what we know is that one in four women will experience intimate partner violence in their lifetime. 68% of those victims uh, will unfortunately experience strangulation and strangulation is the most heinous form I believe of domestic violence. Now, while Carney has uh, had a lot of attention because of his former ties to the NFL and his high profile in Georgia, Best family put the focus on her by releasing photos of her to WUSA 9 last night, along with a heartbreaking statement. They said in part she was dedicated to her patients as a traveling nurse. She worked all around the country during the COVID crisis in operating rooms during the uh, pandemic. They called her a constant source of love and joy in her life, uh, in their lives. And we also learned she went to Georgia Southern University where her alleged killer played football before he was picked up by the New York Jets as a practice squad player for two seasons. He never appeared in a regular season game. But Carney's a highly successful football coach down in Griffin, Georgia, where students and parents there told us they are literally stunned by the murder accusation here in Prince George's County. Tragic and awful and Scott, you were in court for another tragic and awful story this afternoon. That's the detention hearing on those two juveniles accused of murdering a two year old in Langley Park. What did you learn there? Well, you're right. It's extremely busy day here at the courthouse. Uh, the two 16 year olds who are charged now as adults with murder in this case, Judge Byron Barriano ruled this afternoon a short time ago that they should continue to be held as adults and face adult justice not in the juvenile system, not be sent to a juvenile facility. State's attorney Brayboy applauded that decision. She said it's a right call, call for accountability, but also for safety of both the public and the suspects in the case. She said it is likely that there is a gang component in the case, a new twist just revealed, and that the teens are safety, safer in the county's adult lockup. The boys are the third and fourth suspects to be charged in the shooting death of two-year-old Jeremy, Powell, Caceres, and the wounding of his mom in Langley Park. Police said the victims were caught in the crossfire as rivals fought over drug turf. Two adults charged in this case are accused of using an AK-47 rifle in that gunfight. Police released photos of two more people of interest that they want to talk to as well. Those people who, have picture, who are pictured have not been arrested or publicly identified, so they are still out there. Once again, a very busy day here at the Prince George's County Circuit Courthouse in Upper Marlboro. Back to you. Yeah, two very different and yet still devastating cases of violence that take, take in the life of folks way too soon.